What's good, guys? If you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to my sponsor. Link down below for the most cheapest, fastest, most reliable MC on their internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K 22 My Team video. And guys, today, uh, this is our second video today. So if you guys can please smash the sub button, comment down below. It'd be appreciated, man. Also, if you guys are interested in any sports cards or MT at all, make sure to be up on Twitter. Um, but yeah, pretty much. We're going to go over the game. The game, I got it early. I'm excited. Very, very freaking excited. It's our second video today. So now, going over grading cards, right? This is sick, all right? As a sports card fan, I love sports cards, whatever. Um, so to grade cards, bro, before we get into this, I just want to tell you, you need, you need uh, auctioned players. If you can't auction your players, you cannot grade your cards. Um, anyways, you guys are here for what you should do first in my team, pretty much how to make MT. Well, I'm going to give you probably the best tip that nobody else is going to give you in this whole entire game. And this tip is so simple. When you start the game, you get all these players for free. You get all these base set players for free. And what you should do is you should literally instantly, when you start the game, put them up on the auction house. Instantly. Um, especially if you have your time zone in New Zealand time zone like I do. Um, just put them up. Just throw them up for whatever price you think they should go for. Just chuck them up. Because if you are one of the first players to throw up these cards for this cheap, you're going to make lots and lots and lots and lots. And I mean a lot of MT. So that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to do this at, like with everything you own. Because if you're selling some of these cards for this much money, you're going to make so much MT. You're just going to make... This is pretty much the best way to make MT day one. Um... Literally, that's going to be your best bet to make MT. And also, I saw that you could customize this shoe real quick. Hold up. Customize shoe. So, this year, I don't know if it's just a pre-order thing, but you could literally customize your shoe based off boosting and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think you could sell it, though. You could sell these gold shoes and stuff, which I would also recommend trying to put your gold shoes up for like a 1,000 MT. Um, just pretty much throw up everything in your collection. That's pretty much how you're going to make your MT. People are new to this game. All the newbies, man. If you're new to this game, throw up everything you have in your collection. Just chuck them up for random prices. Um, work with the market a little bit. See what's going on. Another alchemist. Another snipe filter. We're also going to make a video how to use the auction house. Um, here's pretty much a tip. Sapphires, bro. Keep your eyes on sapphires. Sapphires are like the new amethyst this year. Um, in my opinion, sapphires and rubies are like where it's at. MPJ is a cool sapphire. Cade Cunningham's even a sapphire. And I'm honestly probably going to want to use Cade Cunningham. We also have a ton of badges on this dude. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to be buying some decent players. As you guys can see, the... What's it called? Brian Reese for 1500 seems like a steal to me. Uh, Vince Carter for 2300 Oh, guys. So, also, another thing is the NBA Draft Reset stuff no lie hold up so there is dark matter again there is galaxy ovals again all right i'm with it let's go to sapphire so you oh you can't sell these players okay makes a lot of sense um but looking at the pack market you can pull a diamond shack a diamond deron williams a diamond ray allen a d'angelo russell a lamella ball lillard mono ginobili so you know what we're actually going to look those players up those are going to be our main intake for the next 12 days, we're going to see what they're worth. Uh, the diamonds are probably be worth a lot of money. Let's check out the Amethyst. I know Giannis is only a Sapphire, which is pretty crazy. And I don't know where you get all these Amethysts from, but uh, it's pretty interesting because I don't think these Amethysts are in the base set, to be honest. They are in the base set, but how the hell do you get these? Oh, wait, what? I guess you could get them from here. All right, you know what? We're going to take one for the team, and we're going to pop one of these packs. We're going to pop one of these packs with MT. We're going to take one for the team, we're going to pop one of these packs, and we're going to hope for the best. All right? All right. A Sapphire. Oh, no, a gold. Antoine Walker. Oh, and Daryl Griffin. All right, so that's how you pull them. So pretty much, these packs are pretty juiced. They're pretty juiced. They're pretty juiced. This is pretty much, you can pretty much make MT possibly if you pull a nice Abby. That would be great. All right. All right. So we pull a nice Sapphire right there. Go to my collection. See what it's worth. Uh, who is the other dude? All right, here. Dow Griffin, Sapphire. He's probably not worth much. 2300 All right. So that's what's going to happen. I got, I understand. 
All right. So pretty much all the amethyst you see up there, you do not want to touch at all. Like that's just something you do not want to touch at all. You want to avoid any amethyst on the market right now. The prices are going to come crashing, crashing down. So do just avoid them. For now, just try sniping low end stuff. Maybe even rubies. Put your filter to literally like 2000 in MT and just keep trying to refresh. That's pretty much going to be your best bet to make MT. Sell your collection. Try to sell your collection at least. If you get your 300k MC, pop some packs and pretty much just work with that. Right now, the market's all over the place. It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible to make MT right now. 4200 for Nate Thurman. Also, try to stay away from Legends. Not a lot of people like Legends, especially Dave West, Doug West, Nate Thurman. Nobody's going to use these players. They're not liked. I'm telling you. I'd much rather Joel Embiid and or Giannis Antetokounmpo over any of those players. And honestly, looking over this, bro, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the MVP, he's only 10K. You know day one he's going to be stupid OP. Let's check out Kevin Durant real quick. Kevin Durant's not even on the auction block? Kevin Durant's now on the auction block. Let's check out LeBron. LeBron's not on the auction block either. Kind of weird considering Giannis is only a Sapphire. Oh, we got a nice LeBron. This is the Cavaliers draft set one. So, pretty interesting. And a lot of these people can't... Like, day one, bro, I'm surprised. A lot of these cars really can't shoot threes at all. But uh, pretty much, how are you going to make MT day one? Sell your cards. And just pretty much just hope for the best. Like, that's pretty much all I could pretty much give you. I can't really give you any more tips, to be completely honest with you. I'll be throwing up a ton of my shoes, bro. If these shoes sell for a decent amount, I'll be pretty happy. But as of right now, 2K just dropped. I'm making this video. 2K literally, literally, literally just dropped. So we're going to see what happens. I'm very excited. I want to see what you guys think in the comment section down below. I want to see what you're doing to make MT Day 1. And I want to see if these Amethysts sell. Like I said, if you pull any Amethyst in your pre-order packs, you just got to sell it. Cheapest Amethyst? Cheapest Amethyst got to be like a point guard or something. So here's the cheapest Amethyst in the game. Paul Westfall, who was really good last year. Kemba Walker, Artis Gilmar, Mark Price. Pretty much all short point guards are going to be the cheapest Amethyst. 10K for Calvin Murphy. That's cheap. I feel like that might be a snipe. I don't have enough MT for him. Really good stat. He can't shoot threes, though. That's also another thing. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we got right now, man. Um, that Calvin Murphy might be a snipe, but not a lot of people have MT. So, it's kind of hard to see what's a snipe and what's not. It's really freaking hard to see what's not. But, anyways, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Peace.